the agency background, you've worked on a ton of different brands. I think you mentioned concrete before. Um, I think that there are pros and cons to having a bit of a personal experience or call it like a passion for one project or another. But I, I also think that there's pros and cons for working on something you're com completely unfamiliar with or like not super, you know, originally interested in or didn't really know much about. So wh what do you think are some of those pros and cons, both for things that you kind of align with in your personal life or your personal passions, and then those that are, you know, concrete? I agree with you totally. I think the secret to that, and I call it listen loudly, you know, when we think about who we're talking to in the terms of the target audience and the prospect, you know, good, creative, and good marketing really allows people to get in the mind, head and heart of that person we're talking to. Well, you have to know that head and heart. Um, when I first worked on concrete, I knew nothing about building supplies. I was not a DIYer. I'm not really a crafter. That said, I probably could look at a how-to project with open eyes uh, better than most people because as soon as it was, there were instructions were clear, I right away was like, what is this? How does this work? So that said, it was easy for me to play that beginner or that DIY. And, and that one, you know, is an interesting one in that people don't really buy concrete, they buy the project. I want a fire pit. I don't want five balance of concrete. So selling projects was easier than selling product. Now on the building side, it is about selling products. So I learned a lot. I really kind of tried to immerse myself in the category as a consumer and spend some free time in retail, just as a consumer would on how they're making a brand choice and decision. Um, the fresh perspective that you're talking about from something you really know or something you don't, the fresh perspective is really helpful because you're going to ask questions that somebody new to the category is going to ask. Mm -hmm. And I think for brands like us, you mentioned Isaac at the front of the call, um, our membership base, we serve 12.7 million members. So there are financial, not financial newbies there, people that are, are getting their first accounts and don't understand exactly how, what interest rates are and how they're set to people who are buying your fifth home. So being able to think about it through those different lenses is important regardless of what you work on. And your ability to think about it new is important too. So whether you've got these preconceived notions, because I used to have a sign at the agency that I would show clients that basically like, remember, you're not the target audience because the client knows much more about the product than usually anybody who's going to see the advertising. So helping them put it in the lens and the mindset of the person they're talking to is extremely helpful. Yeah, I think I, I totally agree. I see the same thing all the time. Uh, I feel like I've made mistakes on like when we work with brands that I'm a customer of or I am in the target audience for and like you, you sort of jump to a bunch of conclusions and then you really have to find a way to separate yourself and be more, um, you know, be more open to that sort of thing. Uh, I like your analogy there that like you're not selling the concrete, you're selling the project. It, it heard you know, uh, in marketing, they say like, you know, if you're selling drill bits, you're not selling drill bits, you're selling, you know, quarter inch holes. But even that, like it's, you're not selling quarter inch holes, you're, you're selling the piece of artwork that's going to go on the wall or, or whatever it might be. Um, and, and I've always found that really interesting. Um, yeah, I, I, I totally agree. I think it, it's really tough to be able to separate those things though, and be able to, like you kind of mentioned earlier, be naturally curious into that concept. And to say, like, what are we really selling here? And who is the target audience is, is something that I think we often lose sight of. But it's so important to keep in mind. I tell my team and remind people off, it's not a failure if you have learnings. Mm -hmm. Because if we're failing but not learning, that is a failure. But if you have a learning, here's what I learned. And here's how I apply it to the next time. And that's really important uh, in terms of just being able to improve and do better each time. Know what's perfect. And we all make good decisions based on the business case, based on the rationale. But none of us have a, a machine that can make it the perfect world where all of the assumptions you made are exactly correct. You can control some of that at risk and think about it. So it's really, really important to capture along the way those learnings so that you can apply them for the future. Mm -hmm.